guys, we are here at Edinburgh Zoo, which is behind me there, so let's go inside. Here we are guys, so we are at Edinburgh Zoo and I've got to say looking at what's going on in Pokemon right now, there is a lot happening. So I'll just show you guys, well, okay, at least there's a lot of Pokemon that spawned. There is a Clefairy here because those of you who know that there's an event going on right now and so the park is the perfect place to play Pokemon Go. It's also my sister's birthday so shout out to my sister, happy birthday. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and catch this Clefairy right here, because why not? Um, so this Clefairy right now is 398 CP, so I'm going to go ahead and throw a Raspberry, um, throw that Raspberry right now. I'm going to change to a Ultra Ball for a second. Um, the good thing about this park is there is not too many people here, but yeah, there is lots of stuff happening right now in this park. So, I'm going to try and catch this Clefairy. Really, not very easily trying to get this Ultra Ball to work. Hopefully we can actually catch this Clefairy. This is ridiculous. Alright, so we have thrown the Pokeball at the Clefairies. Hopefully, we'll catch it. Um, yes, we caught Clefairy with an Ultra Ball. Um, I, I really... yeah, anyway. Six candy for that, that's cool. And yeah, so we're going to move ahead into the rest of the zoo. Um, oh, also, for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Smart, this is Sam Lab Go. It's a series that I do on my YouTube channel which focuses on Pokemon Go gameplay and also uh, I'm dyslexic so I like to use Pokemon Go because gaming is a great tool for helping with dyslexia in terms of coordination, mental mind mapping, as well as solving difficult equations. So for those of you who are like, why do you do dyslexia in Pokemon Go? That's why. So let's move on to the rest of the video. So one thing I've noticed in the zoo is the spawns seem kind of slow when you come into the park, at least where there isn't many people around. I'm actually in the process of stopping for a hot chocolate and I had a brownie. It was good. But um, as you can see on the map, there isn't a whole lot right now spawning. So Edinburgh Zoo so far. So it's pretty lit guys, um, I just caught this Clefairy but look at the amount spawning right here, this Pokestop, this is by the Penguin exhibit, um, I'm not actually a fan of Pokemon being in, oops, Pokemon, I'm not actually a fan of animals being kept in cages, like I don't really agree with it, and um, here's why. One thing that I wanted to show you guys is the, the map. So it would be pretty cool if this map actually had 
pokey stops marked on it, so that's something. Also, I had mentioned to you guys about also making, about saying that I don't agree with animals in enclosures because it's not their natural habitat and it's not cool. But at the same time, it's educational. It'd be cool if some of this stuff was holographic, maybe, but I guess that's the future. So let's go look at this. enjoyed this episode guys this is where it's gonna end but thank you for watching if you've enjoyed it don't forget to like the video and also subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'll see you guys in wednesday's video god bless peace